Hello and welcome to Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. We are going to kick off a new campaign in slot 6 because slot 1 bugged out on us a little bit. We are going to take on Ruthless plus 25% enemy HP. Enemies have higher stun value. Some enemy squads are larger plus 25% wound recovery time minus 1 resilience. This is going to be a punishing campaign. We are not putting this on Iron Man mode. So we will be saving which will ensure that we can continue this campaign in most circumstances. We might get so far down the line that our mistakes pile up and then we we can't complete the campaign, but we shall see. We are going to skip at least the early cutscenes. If you want to see any of these, please let me know. I'm happy to record and post them if you'd like. Let's get going. The way we are going to structure this, we will be doing one episode is one mission. This will keep these kind of shorter, hopefully bite-sized. So let's do our homework, plus 15% per turn, affliction, unknown minions of chaos. Let's get started. I'm gonna skip this cutscene too. So one episode should be one mission, at least in the short term. We actually have abilities. So here's the deal. We are going to get Hammer Hand, and then we're going to build towards Melee Discipline, uh, which is nice. We are going to want to, um, you know, Rapid Reload is nice. But what we're probably going to do is fill out this tree here so we have Ruthless Precision. Uh, melee attacks at 50%. Crits, when this pet crits a target with melee attack, 50% chance to gain 1 AP automatically, which is nice. And then we might kind of think about getting additional armor um, or maybe an extra slot. But we're going to prioritize this tree. Hammer hand is critical to farming seeds. We will see uh, how that works later. So let's confirm this promotion. And we're not done yet. We actually have better weapons. So we're going to do a plus 5% crit chance. Um, so you can see that this is a better weapon and then melee weapons for sword We're going to prioritize crit chance um, And then when this unit is hit by melee attack 50% chance that it's canceled automatically That is super nice We're gonna keep the psi cannon on Because we're gonna want to use an ability. We're gonna go for extra crit Range weapon for interceptors. We're actually going to change to dual wield. Um, I just want to see something. Alright. That... First strike when an enemy moves adjacent to this unit, they have a 25% chance to be struck automatically. Ha. Ah. I like these 10% um, crit. We're gonna we're gonna prioritize crit for now, and then we are going to give a slightly better storm bolter plus one to crit when we crit to our apothecary. So that took a little longer, but let's get right to it. Make sure that when you start your campaign, if you're playing along, that you take a look at your weapons armor abilities right off the bat because you can promote start building out your units and equipping better gear every mission is challenging and unique so even this first mission you could really screw yourself Commander, if you make mistakes have your men look for signs of this plague especially we on the difficulty right. level we have that plus 50% recovery time i can't remember now literally just looked at it your orders um, yes but that piles up because it can take multiple Stop. weeks if not months to heal even basic nice. injuries we might need to think about our interceptor right. i just like the dual wielding like aspect in it will be done There, where the little green ring is, roughly. Fool. Yes, Commander. Onward, brothers. Right. You're gonna trigger something. No, you're not. 
Yes, you command. Yes, commander. Moving That's out. Here. Yeah. On the hunt. On the way. I am Anthes. I am here to serve. Knights! Yep, that's right. You're like three knights. Oh gosh. Alright, and potentially there. We are the swords of justice. It will be done. Steady and surely we hunt them. Alright, I you have to be careful when moving. You don't wanna unlock. Alright. Oh, that guy did survive. He just got blown back here. Good to know. But now we have to reload. Keep that in mind. What is your will? You know what? Standing ready. It says it's outside. Oh, what? All right. Did not make that clear at all. I am here. I did not think that was going to trigger an attack. If I thought it was going to trigger an attack. I would have done something different. Your command. I didn't think you had to go. destroyed, Commander. See, like I said, you can screw up even the intro mission, which I just did. Vengeance. We wanted to take zero damage on this first mission. Instead of taking damage from multiple fights, which is not good. So let's. As ordered. Here. Here's Commander. Yes, sir. Alright, so now the goal is can I generate Red enough will power to will? heal both? I don't know if I will These be able to will heal. We are using three to heal. My wrath is restored, brother. It will be done. Comes off. Ready for battle. Your orders? Your orders. Unleash me. What is your will? I uh, automatically <laughs> revealed them because I, I think I... Wait. That creature. Inquisitor, we have seen the dead walk in this way before. As have I. Look. Hoxwalkers are evidence of warp corruption. This is no natural way. What is your will? At your service. Unload. I will need to examine this corpse and I will not tolerate this contamination spreading to my servitors. Do not obstruct me, tech priest. I will follow You'll proper see where I'm going with this. Trying to get him to six brothers. And that generated willpower. Moving out! So we're, we're playing yes, strategically. Yes, sir. And... I don't 
up here. can run that close. So we do not want to kill this guy. If we do, we can't heal. We're going to suffer the warp surge no matter what. Lex or Pox. Oh, man. All right. See? What? Intro mission. Look at this. Look at this. So to be unworthy. Here. Storm. Unleash me. I am Anthus. Your command. Unleash me. Face. with my carcass so I can set to work we will do all right well to you as soon as containment is properly confirmed and sanctified we be will, swift about it at if the end of mission already we'll spread beyond this planet fully debrief then we will and, like, have far more stock, so once we complete requisition and all that we will do our best to equip it so the next episode we kind of start um, in a mission that'll be that'll be the goal of how I'll do this if there's a better way to do it, let me know. But we're going to take it one episode, one mission for time. Well, that's the real driving factor is timing reasons. Because um, sometimes I get carried away and then I have to like end mid-mission, which is not a good, good place to be. 26 days. I thought we fully healed him. So we got like... 25 to 20 or 31 to 26 experience 25 each i think he was at 50 maybe so i i, I think that's pretty good i don't know what you normally get on the first mission man that sucks i can't believe it he's injured we'll deploy with him all right this is in progress that's good and this is in progress well, that would have to be in progress because we can't move. So we're going to we're going to advance time until we get to the next mission. So there's some strategy in positioning, and basically what we're going to try to do is position our ship to take on as many missions as possible. That's the goal. plasma reactor. Okay, we could take on this one, which is 12 days. I'm going to take on this one. All right. Um, until we re uh, re realign its prismatic ray, we will not be able to make effective use of our prognosticars, scry the enemy's activities. Let's work on that. Fewer days, fewer servitors. So we are centrally located. We're hoping missions pop up adjacent to each other so we can get them. This is taking a while. All right. Now, augmentation chamber. This is going to give us servitors after a certain period of time. New boom activity. Okay. Oh, we're going to take this one. Ten servitors is good. And then we're going to hope to get to this one. One grimoire. All right, we're balancing it out. We should be able to get over there. So we're going to fly here. End this episode. 
If you want to see more of this playthrough, please be sure to drop a thumbs up and comment. What am I doing well? Where can I improve? Do you like to play through? You could just say hi in the comments. Um, just knowing that you're watching and engaged and want to see more, uh, that's how you signal to me. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, I am actively trying to grow my YouTube channel. Your support beats everything. So if you would like, please consider uh, hitting that subscribe button. That's the best way to support me. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you in future episodes. Shadow Coast out.